How's it going everybody and welcome to another episode of Rob the Renovator. We got a spooky edition for you this month boys and girls. We're going to be putting up some Halloween decorations and it's probably going to be a ton of fun. So let's get right to it. Now before you get really going and uh, kind of sticking everything where you want it, the first thing you want to do is run your lighting because without the lighting, nothing's going to work right and you're just going to be working your way into the mud the whole time. It's a figure of speech, take, take it for what you will. But uh, so we need to run all of our extension cords and get all of our lighting set up and then we can put everybody in their proper places. Now my cord's a little tangled and I usually like to be color coded with the color of the grass, but uh, desperate times, 2020, taking a toll on all of us so uh we're gonna have a little orange action now i'd like to settle a bet so walk with me we're gonna do a little walk and chat some people like to call these bad dogs surge protectors and i've always called them six bars mostly because one two three four five six bars what are your thoughts so this is a uh three prong to two prong converter you can pick them up at your local menards bada bing problem solved i'm using a radial arm saw a lot of people say rob why don't you wear your glasses you know phil kovacic is over here all the time yelling at me he goes you gotta get yourself some safety glasses and i'm like eh. now that's sharp got another friendly face do a little bit of this action so let me go get some nails ten taps Feels like we've come full circle this year as I am back near the gutters. Holly want a cracker? I kind of feel like Jack Dawson in that movie about the boat that sank. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. Now see, I brought this little chisel hammer that I used as a character for Christmas last year when I was Yukon Cornelius. Oh boy, oh ha. That once again, this is a reminder to always use a screw gun or a drill when you can, because otherwise, sometimes things get broken. Once again, this is another great time for the lean and break. So the way uh, I usually kind of secure these guys is I'll put the stake in the ground and then you'll use their clothes to ever so nicely slide over that and go down from there and then kind of get it situated the way you want and take some wire, as you can see right there, got a whole spool of it, loop it a couple of times, tuck it up underneath there. Okay, he's secure. Now we're gonna to wanna to get something to secure his collar. So before we do any of that though, the first thing we gotta do is stuff him. Garbage picking, also known as curbside shopping, comes into play very much so in these kind of situations. Imagine a fence being here. We're just gonna use our scissors here. This is very early 90s HGTV kind of stuff. Getting to watch the sunset with my buddies. Safety pins come into key because otherwise this stuff's just gonna fly all over the place. Now that's the stuff. This is what we call a very hands-on kind of project. Kind of let it dangle there. Same with the other side. Gotta kind of mark your territory. All right, boys and girls. I think our job here is done. It is officially dark. Didn't want to film me putting up a bunch of stuff because that can be a little tedious. But we got the devil here and the witch. Sacrifice board. All kinds of ghouls and characters. That was so much fun trying to hang that back dog. Got to put some nails in the bottom there so the window take it and wrap it back up on a roof. I don't want to go back up on a roof. Me and my buddy Orenthal here. We're going to hang out in the yard, probably have a couple of drinks, maybe go get some pizza. But, uh, you know, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on a spooky edition of Rob the Renovator. We got all kinds of fun stuff for you guys in store. Uh, coming up for these fine holidays here in 2020, the craziest year that we've ever quite had. And, uh, how you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. But, uh, until next time, there's, uh, there was some human brains in here, but now it's just full of beer. This guy kind of freaks me out a little bit. Little freaking me out a little bit. Gotta switch some light bulbs out. Nothing real crazy, but uh, I'm kind of KO'd for the day, so I'm gonna call it 
call it, but uh, I'll probably be out butts in here tomorrow. Kind of wrapping things up before I let everybody know to come on by. Have a good one.